In this video about let's talk about tools in the Bind Viewboard Whiteboard Online software, today's tool is going to be the Shape tool. This is located directly under the Sticky Note tool and right above the Text Editor tool on the right-hand main toolbar. It looks like a circle, square, and triangle with an arrow popping out of it as well. I'm going to go ahead and go to the next page just so I can show you how to go ahead and place these different shapes. As you can see, I have a little prompt for us to go ahead and choose a shape, and we have a square, a circle, and a cube, so we're changing it up a little bit. All of those are located in the shape tool that's on, once again, that right-hand side in that main toolbar, and I'm going to go ahead and left-click it once to go ahead and activate it, and go ahead and tap it one more time to bring up the more advanced menu. And here you can see there's a ton of different 2D shapes that I could go ahead and choose from, a thickness slider, opacity slider, along with a ton of different colors I can choose from as well. I'm going to go ahead and have that square selected. And from here, all I'm going to do is go ahead and touch and drag or left click and drag to place that shape. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to that shape tool, tap it one more time, and this time go to the circle. Now in here, I'm going to go ahead and change the color as well, just to add a little bit more pizzazz to it and hit the X in the top right hand corner. And from here, I'm going to just go ahead and touch and drag as well. Now to move this shape, I'm going to go to the selection tool and just touch and drag it to move it right under where it says circle. Now for the cube, we have to change it up a little bit just by going back to that shape tool one more time and bringing up the advanced menu. And as you can see at the top, there is a ton of different rows of icons. The first one, it has a ton of different lines and angles. There is also a table maker, which is the last one, but I wanna to go to that cylinder that's the third one in. And as you can see, this is where my 3D shapes are. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the cube, hit the X, and go ahead and touch and drag the same way. Thank you so much for watching this video about shapes, and I hope you stay tuned for more.